Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to I came out on the four corners, teaching mm -hmm. the truth and sincerity. This is Tasha Rokwa Amath, with the brother. It's the brother of Rock. Shalom. Coming at you with a quick lesson, Lord's willingness is edifying unto the whole elect. You know, um, just reading and um, uh, allowing the spirit to move. All right, because we are in that day, we we are in that hour. All right, how about Shimei Shai has allowed you know Esau to you know grow in his wickedness just to see his downfall, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, but th through the spirit, you know, how about Shimei Shai has groomed men to understand his will. And that's what we're going to get into, you know, a tad bit today. Um, and, Baba Kusha, you, you, you got anything to add? Um, nah, we can hop right into the scriptures. All right, well, yeah, we let's just jump straight, straight into the scriptures. Baba Kusha, could you pull that? Um, Solomon 9. Wisdom Solomon 9 and... Uh, 13. Yeah, Baba Kusha, start at 13. Kind. This is um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and verse 13. It says... Uh, well, this is in the uh, GN, the GN, uh, the Good News Bible, right? Good. It says, who can ever learn the will of the Most High? All right, so it says, who can ever learn the will of Yahweh by Shimei Shai? Okay, because it's not given to all men. It's only given to the elect. You know, those ones that he has set apart or chosen to even understand the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that comes from his throne. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pull it in the, Apocrypha, the King James as well after I read it. Go ahead. It says, um, verse 13, it says, Who can ever learn the will of the Most High? Human reason is not adequate for the task. And so so, uh, so a, 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 a mortal man or... You know, let's just call a spade a spade. Esau, <laughs> all right, he, Esau can't understand it. He can't. He can't get it. You know, uh, uh, and and since he can't get it, he's going to try to rage against the body. But Baba Kusha, you you, you, can, you can finish it out. Right. Um, it says verse fifteen. It says uh, or verse fourteen again. It says human reason is not adequate for the task. And our philosophies tend to mislead us. You know, because they're thinking with their own heart, which the men of Yahweh Hashem Shai are thinking with the wisdom which he bestowed them with. Okay? And and call Haloyim like Yahweh Hashem Shai. So, Baba Kusha, uh, read that in the KJV, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pull that wisdom of Solomon 1 and 1. Okay. Or you could... <clears throat> Kind of. this is, yeah, this is a wisdom of Solomon 9 and 13 in the KJV, right? It says, for what man is he that can know the counsel of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai? Or who can think what the will of the Lord is, right? Okay. And, what, mm -hmm. Oh, no, you, you, you guys are lucky. No, you good. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the, the brother's breaking it down. You know what I mean? The answer to that question is, is pretty simple. It's the men of the Lord. It's the prophets. I write that the Lord is raised up, you know, uh, in these latter days. Mm -hmm. You know, that was the whole point of the Lord sending down the Comforter, sending down the Holy Spirit. Amos 3 and 7. You know, and with that understanding, you know, uh, with what the Spirit, you know, uh, teaches, you know, working through, you know, uh, the elder apostles, all right, the men that have been set up, you know, feeding us with uh, the knowledge and understanding, right, we now have the ability to understand on a, on a certain level what Good. the will of the Heavenly Father is, you know, and that's broken down. And um, Paul breaks that down in 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, right, how we're taking on the mind of, of, of Yahweh Shai, of Mashiach, right? And that, in, 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 in receiving the mind of uh, Mashiach, we're becoming one with the Father as well because they're, they're like-minded. They're yep. of the same thought process. That's right. You know? <clears throat> So I'll keep reading. This is uh, verse 14, right? In the KJV, was in Psalm 9 and 14. It says, For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable, 
and our devices are but uncertain. Ooh. Right? In verse 15, it says, for the corruptible... Well, hold on. But Baba Kusha, could you um, go to the Wisdom of Solomon... Um, one and one? One and one. Mm -hmm. yeah, because just to further explain, you know, how how the mortal man isn't going to get it, you know, but the men that have been toiling in the scriptures, you know, were the ones that were set apart to understand it. You know, uh, I, I was going to, in, in the, the JB, which book is this? Uh, the GMB. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah. The Good News Bible. Yeah. Uh, but c could you put in the GMB? Yeah, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 1. Yeah, Baba Kusha. Okay. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 1. And it says, love justice, you rulers of the world. So so it says, love justice, you rulers of the world. Those ones that he has chosen to be judges. All right? And that's the, the elect. Continue. Mm -hmm. It says, set your mind sincerely on the Lord and look for him with all honesty. You know, and, and didn't we just read that in 9, uh, 9 and 13? You know, because... because we're supposed to seek out the Yahweh by Shimei <clears throat> All right, continue. Yep. It says, "Those who do not try to test test him will find him. He will show himself to those who trust him." So those who do not try to test him, Esau or the the mortal man tries to test Yahweh by Shimei to see if he's real. All right, but those ones that are walking in the spirit, you know, those ones that are uh, um, contending for the faith, all right, are the ones that are going to abound in 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 the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that He has set before them. Right, I got a precept. For you, this is a Psalms chapter ten and verse four. I'll get to the point. It says, <laughs> "It says the wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after uh, the Most High." All right, the Most High is not. In all his way. thoughts, <clears throat> you know, linking linking that up with what we're reading, right? Uh, the primary reason why, you know, the planet Earth is in the condition that it's in is because Esau, Edom, all right, and all these heathen nations that have joined hand in hand with him, all right, they're not their 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 thoughts, their minds are not set on the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Good, because it it says also loosely paraphrasing how the uh, the, the the king's heart. Are in uh, is is in the hand of Yahweh by Shimei Okay, right. And and they can't understand their own way. Loosely paraphrasing. Right. But you can finish that a little bit more. Uh, where'd you leave off on? I got all the way to that was verse one and verse two. Okay. Uh, yeah, Con. That's that's good. You can go to your uh, precept if you got one. Okay, Con. Yeah, I wanted to grab um, Proverbs three and five real quick. Um. Bear with me. I'm sorry, I'm going wrong way. Proverbs 3 and 5, it says, and this is in the GMB, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Never rely on what you think you know. <laughs> <laughs> right? And that's, that's uh, you know, the mindset that we're supposed to be in. And that shows uh, humility. You know, that shows exactly what we just read in Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 1. Right? We're to be, you know, uh, denying ourselves. You know, like the, Daily. Scriptures, like the scriptures say. You know, we're not supposed to be relying on, on, you know, what we think we know because we don't really, we don't know shit. Kind. Right? The scriptures talk about, you know, uh, he that wants to be wise, roughly paraphrasing, you know, has to become a fool first. And, you know? And, and, and so like, you nah, you good. Nah, you know, no, no, no. I was, I was, I was <laughs> going to say, that's why the men of Yahweh Basham Shire are fools for the Hamashiach's sake. Mm -hmm. All right? You know, and, and like, we are honoring, you know, he that came before us, mm -hmm. all right? Just like we do our elders. You have to honor, you know, you have to show forth reverence, mm -hmm. okay? <clears throat> yep, and, but, and that's actually a quote uh, in the world. Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. There's a quote in the world. It, it, it basically goes, a wise man knows he knows nothing. <laughs> yeah. Right? You know, and we don't literally know nothing, right? We understand the prophecies, you know, we, we understand particular spiritual things. You know, we have to be knowledgeable about a lot of, uh, about, you know, about a little bit of everything. Yeah. You know, like the apostle uh, uh, breaks down. 
All right, but in the grand scheme of things, when you consider <laughs> the, the, the universe, when you consider the creation, you know what I mean? We're we're on a very, very, very low level right now, and it's because of this this flesh, because of this body. Good. You know. But but see, this is this is the mindset that you need to have. Yeah, how about Shimmy Shai gave you the wisdom? Yeah, you are on a low level here, but you're on a higher spectrum than everybody else <laughs> because you were you were given something that everybody desires, but they can't have. Yep. All right, it was given unto you to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Unto them, it's not given. <laughs> yep. I found the quote. It's from uh, Socrates, and if I'm not mistaken, he was, that was Jake. Socrates. Uh, it was that somebody else. Or uh, so I got. Yeah, you ain't going to catch me lying. Con. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. But this is the quote from Socrates. It says, I am the wisest man alive, for I know one thing, and that thing is that I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that I know nothing. <laughs> you like, know? Like, and, well, damn. <laughs> and, you know, again, you know, I just wanted to reiterate that because that's really what puts us, you know, uh, that gives us an advantage, you know, through the spirit because we're not relying on, you know, what we think we know. We're Cut. relying on the power of the creator of the universe. Cut. You know, so that sets us apart. Right. You know, because it's, it's like we don't give honor and glory unto ourselves. Right. Because it's not us. It's, it's, it's not ours to give. Mm -hmm. All right. It's how about Shimmy Al Shai? All right. We give all honor and glory unto him. All right, and that makes life go go a lot smoother. <laughs> but uh, Baba Kusha, you can get back to it if you kind if you're done with your precept. Yeah, let's go back to uh, to my wisdom song the nine. Yeah, Baba Kusha. Kind. I think you were at fifteen. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm, yeah, I think I'm uh, reading fifteen right now. Okay. Here. So like you. You come to what about? <clears throat> okay, this is uh, wisdom of Solomon <clears throat> nine, and I'll start at verse. 14 again. It's like your page is stuck together. All right. It says, I'll start from the top again. It says, who can ever learn the will of the most high? Human reason is not adequate for the task. And our philosophies tend to mislead us. Because our mortal bodies weigh our souls down. So, so that's the flesh weighing down... The spirit, yep. you know, yep. because the spirit and the flesh is already always it cl clashing yep, because because uh, one of them wants dominance, you know. But um, there is an old parable about the two bears or the two wolves. It's 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 like um, Northern Kingdom, you know. Uh, th there's two spirits inside of you that, that that are always fighting, all right. But um, whoever wins is whoever you feed. Okay, so if you feed your spirit, your spirit's going to win, all right? Yep. But if you feed your flesh, you will die thereby. Hey, <laughs> mm -hmm. everything links up, you know? <laughs> yeah, I wanted to get that just to back you up, bro, in uh, uh, Romans, because uh, Paul, you know, breaks that whole thing down. Like, mm. That's like, you know, Romans, you know, when you get into like Romans, you know, 7, 8, 9. Oh, yeah. You know, Paul is, <laughs> Paul is, you know, in that bag, yeah. you know. Uh, but um, this is um, Romans chapter 8, you know, and this is a heavy chapter, but I'm going to just get the point. Um, it's lucky. Call the wild brother. <coughs> this is, uh, that's not what I wanted. I'm looking for a carnal mind or spiritual mind. It's lucky, I'm about to get it. Yeah, Romans 8 and 7. All right. And it says, I'll start at verse 5. It says, for they that are after the flesh. Do mind the things <laughs> right? of the flesh. Going into what we're going into, <laughs> right? Uh, 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 mortal thoughts. Yeah. You know, what does mortal mean? We're going that word mortal. It's what it goes into, you know, uh, the, the flesh. flesh. Carnality. Right? Verse 5. It says, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is it's life like, and uh, peace. peace right and this is the point in verse 7 it says because the carnal mind is enmity against the most high for it is not subject to the law of God neither indeed can be 
good. Right? So literally, when you're operating based off of your own, Fleshly you know, desires. Uh, fleshly desires and, and thought process, because even if you don't think you're operating like that, you, you probably operating like that because we're yeah. subject to vanity. We're subject to this flesh. I mean, we, we were we were born in these chains of darkness. Right. Okay, like, it, it's, it's like, um, like, daily, daily, like, you just right. fuck up sometimes, like, damn, I'm still in the flesh, you right. know? That, that, <laughs> that, but that's the whole, that's the whole point of a, of a chain, you know, mm. to hold you back, God. you know, to prevent you from... Abounding. Abounding, literally. You know, <laughs> you know? Try, try, try to get to the best you, yep. you know, and you get pulled back into squalor, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's, but, yep, the scriptures liking us to prisoners as well. Kind of thing prisoners of hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind. But but that was the point on that Romans eight. We can go back to uh, wisdom of Solomon. Um, what, you got time, Bible? Unless I, you had some. Um, uh, if you uh, are, are you at that nine and sixteen yet? I'm at uh fifteen. Bible Kushai, you got it. Kind. Uh, wisdom of Solomon nine and fifteen. It says because our mortal bodies weigh down, weigh weigh our souls down. The body is a temporary structure made of earth, a burden to the active mind. Bam! That's everything that we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's made of earth. Mm -hmm. So it's made of, of it's, it's tangible. Mm -hmm. You can see it. All right? Anything that you see in this life, you're not going to be able to take with you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's, it's the spirit of a man. All right, it's the flesh. What? Well, well, hold on, Salakia. So like, I, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but what? What that? The 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 spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Mm -hmm. All right, because the flesh is a part of this world. All right, and the spirit is a part of your how about Shmi Al Shai. Whenever you pass on to the 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 next, mm -hmm. it's your spirit that's going to be judged. It's not this. This flesh is going to be left here on the earth, you know. Even though it's going to be burnt up, you know, by thermonuclear missiles, you know, uh, um, due to the ICBMs. <clears throat> so, like, you got it. Fine. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon nine and verse uh, uh, fifteen. Again, it says, "Because our mortal bodies weigh our souls down, the body is a temporary structure made of earth, a burden to the active mind." A <laughs> burden. All we can do is make guesses about the things on the earth. We must struggle to learn about the things that are close to us. Who then can ever hope to understand heavenly things? Ooh. <laughs> man. Hey, man. Hey. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. You want to read that again? No, hey. You got it, I. Kind of, read I was, again. Can, yeah, and then we'll just jump in. I had that uh, First Corinthians two. Kind of. that. This is um, verse sixteen again. It says, "All we can do is make guesses about things on the earth. We must struggle to learn about things that are close to us, right? And that's what we that's what we see all the people of the planet Earth doing at this right point, now. right? Because the spirit of prophecy, the spirit of the men of the Lord, and this word going out has has settled here, right? So people can sense that that something is about to happen. Something's right? about to something hit. is off. Something big, and major is about to happen, but they don't know what exactly. <laughs> they don't know what. Like, like yep. they are going through their daily, thinking that that that's going to be another day tomorrow, and mm -hmm. another week after that, and another year after that. Mm -hmm. They're thinking that twenty twenty three is going to be the best year ever. Yep. You know, yep. but the men that get held by Shimei Al Shai has has been toiling in the scriptures. It has read all the prophecies that are meant to come to pass here in this next year. Mm -hmm. All right, this was the year of the turn up, right? Yep. All right, and it, <laughs> hey, it, it it turned all the way up. Call hello, how about Shemiel All right, and this next year, it's about to get get down to the gritty. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all gonna understand that how about Shemiel Al Shai haven't been playing. You know, he told you to get right. He gave you a grace period. He 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 showed you through his prophets. Mm -hmm. But hey, now you gotta get it. Get it. You got that. Con. It says, all we can do is make guesses about things on earth. We must struggle to learn about things that are close to us. And and that's all these 
so-called scientists yeah. are doing. Struggling. They are struggling <laughs> to understand, making guesses. Yeah. Hypothesis. Hypothesis. Hey, what's going to say? Yep. Yep. Hypothesis. Theories. Hey, wondering, <laughs> hmm. So is gravity real? Let me throw this rock up and see if it hits me on the head. He's saw, he saw his word, his word magic. Esau come up with these different words just to convey the same meaning, which is a guess. He yeah. don't fucking know. That's the point. He doesn't know. Like, like, and and then them doing the changing of words and changing of sexes and changing of everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how about Shimei Shai? Out, bro. Call Hawaii man. How about Shimei Shai? He set up all this just so you can get your judgment. Yep. All right. Everything has been set up specifically for judgment to ensue. Man, yep. and that's beautiful to even you know comprehend. Right. All right, it's lucky, bro. Right. No, yeah, <laughs> and if I can add to everything that Esau does know, it's only because of the scriptures. It's only because <laughs> he, of the scriptures. He reads, he, he reads the scriptures, and to the best of his capability, he tries to, you know, discern, you know, uh, uh, the nature of reality. Bro. But he can't. It wasn't given to him. Baba Kusha. All right. Whenever he came to the shores of America, he 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 was following Ezra. Yep, yep. He yep. he was following yep. everything according to the scriptures up until this point. Mm. The MOTB. He knew it was going to come. He knew that he was going to one be be the be the one to make it. Right. You know because of the scriptures. Right. <coughs> so like you. Yep. You know so. Yeah, how about Shimei Oshai, bro? They were just following the blueprint that we already had. We just didn't have it for about 350 years. Right. All right? Because it was the blueprint that said that we were going to go in captivity. This is this is how beautiful this, this word is. You know? And that's why he told Jeremiah, Isaiah, to eat the whole roll so you can get a firm understanding. Right. right. Just like he's telling you now to eat the whole roll. Right. But you got it, I. Kind, kind. That's what that you know. That's what we we have said. You know, <clears throat> we've embarked to do, so to speak. You know, which is uh, gain as much wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we can on this side, so that we can what, so that we can endure until the end. You know, the whole point, the the point of the understanding is not so we can boast in ourselves. Not and, at all. You know, you know, you know, uh, talk shit because it's not of us. It's right. of you. How about Shemiah Al Shai? All right, and we're just, you know, showing his will, you know, through our mortal flesh, we're giving him his honor, his glory for the things that he has done in us in our lives. Okay, <clears throat> but uh, I had something real quick. Baba Kusha, you got it. I was gonna pull that second Ezra fourteen. <clears throat> but I'm tripping. My sword is tripping. Uh, let me go to it. This is a uh, second Ezra's, and this is a uh, pretty much all I got after that. Unless you want to go into uh, First Corinthians two, <clears throat> this is a uh, second Ezra chapter fourteen, and I'll start at uh, verse thirteen. All right, it says, "Now therefore, set thine house in order, and reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption." Right? And what what's corrupt? Right? Mm-hmm. Well, really, the, the whole the entire world. planet Earth. <laughs> the whole world. But especially these bodies. Right? Man. You know, but this is verse 14. It says, Let go from thee mortal, mortal thoughts. thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. And that's the sin. That's that's the transgressions. That's, you know, because you, you should be, you know, spiritually minded. You should be following... Yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai instead of your own way? Yep. All right. Yep. That, you also, got that also links up with what Paul said the spirit is willing, but the flesh, flesh is weak. weak. <laughs> <laughs> Scripture is cold, man. Hey, man. But this is um, verse 15. It says, And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. Whoo! Right? And um, that's a heavy line right there in itself because. Brothers are all going through their own customized, you know, uh, yeah. hell. I'll walk. You know what I mean? Walk. Man. Their own, you know, uh, they <laughs> have particular things. Ailments. Ailments and things that we have to uh, overcome. You know, thought processes, you know. Uh, Mindset. Jobs. Mindsets. We all have 
you know, if we're of the elect, we are going to overcome those things, you know, and that's what, that's the goal. That's why our brothers pray. That's why our brothers fast. All right. We're trying to win. We're trying to overcome, you know, and we're in through the spirit of power. How about Shemiel Shai? They, we are going to overcome. How about Shemiel Shai? You know, but yeah. let me finish. This is on verse 15. It says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times. <sighs> right. And I might as well keep reading this next verse. Right. Verse 16, it says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen shall, uh, shall, uh, slacky. It says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Hmm. And that's what's to come. Right. You know, uh, Jacob's but, trouble. Jacob's trouble is, 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 is going to be horrendous mm -hmm. because these Jakes that, that, that think that they got faith, all right, they're going to have to really have faith right. because Esau's about to come down ha having great wrath. They're going to go through like a flood, killing, maiming, women, children, uh, um, grandparents. Everybody going to get it. No one is going to be left unturned, mm -hmm. okay? Everybody's going to catch an L. Okay, because it is Jacob's trouble. So the world is going to be in turmoil. All right. But it's going to take a spiritual mind, you know, to to overcome. Mm -hmm. All right. And it started on this side. All right. Baba Kusha, could you pull that um, mm -hmm. Sirach? Yeah. You... That Sirach 34 and... Um, uh, I think 13. It's Sirach 34 and 13 And you can read down Sirach chapter 34 and verse 13 Come. It says The spirit of those that fear the Lord Shall live You know the spirit The spirit So so therefore that's not carnal That's not fleshly That's the spirit They get how about Shemiel or Shai Put in you Continue It says For their hope is in him that saveth them For for their hope Alright You You, you you don't pray to yourself. Right. You're praying to the power of all. Yep. Baba Kushai, save me, deliver me from the hell and the torment that I am going through. Mm -hmm. All right? Because this ain't us. This is all this, all Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. Yep. Scriptures also call it um, uh, a lively hope. A lively hope. Kind of. I believe that's in the book of Hebrews. Right. And uh, the scriptures also say we are saved by hope. <laughs> yeah. So that hope, you know, uh, that we have is going to be it's going to be a, a driver, you know. So but, we're saved by hope. You know, we are prisoners of hope. Yep. So <laughs> that that hope is something that needs to be ingrained in you. You can't think that you already got it. Right. OK. But you got it. So like it. <laughs> yep. This is um, verse 14. Uh. It says, whoso, did you want me to read verse 14? Yeah. Okay. This is a. Uh, read down, brother. Just kind of, it says. <laughs> Stop when you feel good. <laughs> kind of. It says, whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, yep. for he is his hope. So, so if you fear your how about Shemi Al Shai, for one, you need to know his name. All right? Because what does it say in Psalms? His name is, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it, it and is safe. Okay, loosely paraphrase it. <clears throat> All right, so so read that one again, Bible shot. Yeah, <clears throat> it says, "Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid." So so if you fear your how about Shimei Al Shai, you're not gonna worry about men. Get get um, Bible yeah, here, uh, Psalms um, uh, twenty-seven and uh, one. Down again. Uh, uh, because because. You're not going to have fear of what man can do to you. Psalms 27 and 1. Yeah. It says, <clears throat> a Psalm of David, all right, um, Yahweh, uh, Yahweh by Shem Shai is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? All right, the Most High is the strength of my life, and whom shall I be afraid? So, who should I be afraid? I shouldn't be afraid of no man, no gun. You know, no, no, oh, you can take my life, but uh, my power can destroy my body and my soul in hell in, in, in this place, Babylon the Great. All right? Baba Kusha, you can go back to that. Um. Mm -hmm. Sirach 34, <coughs> and, um, verse 15, 
It says, Blessed is the soul of him that feareth the Lord. To whom doth he look, and who is his strength? Mm -hmm. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and strong stay, a defense from heat, a cover from the sun at noon, and a preservation from stumbling. So, so yeah, how about Shemiah Shai's eyes are 10,000 times more powerful than the sun? Okay, and his, he's watching his elect. He's watching his chosen. All right, and, and they know it. We know that Yahweh by Shimei Arshai is watching us as we go through our walk. Angels. All right, and and the angels, <clears throat> come on, like you. The angels, likewise, you know, because they are they are the one ones that that are the eyes of Yahweh by Shimei Arshai. That's why he's omnipotent. All right, he sees everything. He's in the midst of everything. You know what's that? Whenever two walk together. How can they be disagreed? Amos three and three. Mm. You know, so yeah, how about Shimei Shai has has everything already set up properly? You know, but <clears throat> all right, that was pretty much it on that. Okay, if we want to close on this. We close on this. Oh, this is a Psalm chapter thirty four and verse seven. Banger. It says the angels or the angel of the Lord encampeth round about, about them, them that fear, fear him, and delivereth them. Right. But guess what? It takes a spiritual. It takes a spiritual mind, spiritual eye to, to to see that, and it takes faith to believe that, you Ooh. know, and to move, you know, accordingly. Who, um, <laughs> Shai, one more, bro. One more. <laughs> uh, Ecclesiastes chapter twenty-five, verse twelve. Okay, go ahead. you know, because you 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 hit a nail on the head, you know, and you need to get that drawback. Pink. <laughs> Sirach 25 and verse 12, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love, and faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. So, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of, beginning of his love. So, you just you know, having reverence unto him is the beginning of him loving you. Okay? And then faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. So, you got to get, you, you have to. Get stuck to him like glue, all right. And call Haloyim like Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai that he has that much love for his elect, for his chosen, to protect them from anything, all right. So, so you got that's it. it. No, yeah. All right. So yeah. With that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai by Shimei Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS. Shalom and Shalom. Shalom.